Hi guys! In our second example about heat of reactions and calorimetry, we're going to go through a very typical experiment that you would see in bomb calorimeters. This question is a medium question and it tackles the combustion of ethanol in a bomb calorimeter. So we usually use bomb calorimeters either to find the heat of reaction, of combustion reactions mainly, or we can also find uh, the actual heat capacity of the calorimeter from such reactions. So in this case, we have the combustion of ethanol in a, in a bomb calorimeter, and we already know that this reaction produces negative 1,235 kilojoules. Now, in this experiment, we're given the initial and final temperatures of the reaction. So the initial before the reaction started was 25 degrees Celsius. The temperature final is 62.3 degrees Celsius. We are also given the amount in grams of ethanol used in this combustion reaction, as well as the molar mass of ethanol. And we are asked to find the heat capacity of the calorimeter. So how do we go uh, in solving this problem? Well, the first thing we need to do is we need to find how many moles of ethanol were reacted or were used in this reaction. This formula is a general formula of the combustion of ethanol, but it doesn't actually tell you that, doesn't give you the amount of heat released for a specific amount of number of moles. This tells you that for every mole of ethanol, you get one, negative 1,235 kilojoules. So, in this experiment, we have a specific amount of moles that we need to find out from this given. Now, before I get into that, delta H reaction is a negative 1,235 kilojoules. What does that mean? Does that mean that the reaction is endothermic or exothermic? Well, endothermic reaction is a reaction that has delta H positive. So, when delta H is positive, it's called an endothermic reaction. And this reaction when the delta H is positive, it means that the, the reaction requires energy in order to proceed forward. But when the delta H is negative, this means that the reaction releases heat. So it's a reaction that releases energy to the surroundings. So let's go ahead and start solving this problem. First, we need to find the number of moles involved in the reaction. So number of moles of ethanol... equals mass over molar mass. That would be equal to 21.8 grams over 46.07 grams per mole. If you do the calculations, you should end up with 0 0.47 moles. So now we found the number of moles. As you can see now, it's not one mole as this reaction uh, indicates. The, the actual number of moles that are used in this combustion reaction came up to be 0 0.47 moles. So we need to know how much 0 0.47 moles uh, release heat. So to do that, we're going to do 0 0.47 mole times negative 1,235 kilojoules. And remember, this is per one mole of ethanol, so one mole at the bottom. The mole cancels off with the mole. And if you do the proper calculation, you should end up with negative 584 kilojoules. So at this point right now, we know the quantity of heat released by this reaction. But again, we're asked for the calorimeter. We're asked for the heat capacity calorimeter. Now, from the law of, and the law of uh, conservation of energy, Q system plus Q calorimeter is equal to zero. So this gives us the Q of the system, which is the reaction itself. So the reaction itself is negative 584 kilojoules. So Q cal will be equal to negative Q of the system equals negative, and then negative 584. That would give you positive 584 kilojoules. So now we know the Q cal. Now in order to continue solving this problem, we need to know what Q cal represents. Q 
calorimeter represents the specific heat which is represented by a big C of the calorimeter multiplied by the temperature difference. So if we go on and solve this problem, the C calorimeter, which is specific heat, is equal to Q of calorimeter over delta T. So now the Q calorimeter is equal to 584 kilojoules and delta T would be 62.3 minus 25. This means it's 584 kilojoules over 37.3 degrees Celsius. That would give you 15.7 kilojoules per Celsius. And this, guys, is your heat capacity of the calorimeter. So as you can see, there's, you're always going to be given um, either delta H reaction or you're going to be given the information about the calorimeter and expect it to uh, know the delta H reaction of a specific experiment. So this is a very typical question that you would see involving bomb calorimeters uh, as it's a really popular or common uh, reaction to see. Combustion reaction is a very common reaction to see in bomb calorimeters.